a bright sunny afternoon here and although I'm dressed like it, I'm actually not in Goa. But today we are going to be talking about a quintessential Goan spirit. It's a rum but not really a rum. Stay tuned, let's find out. When you think of Goa, you think of beers, you think of whiskies, great single malt coming out of Goa. But rarely would you think of rums. I'm sure you must have guessed it by now. It is none other than Kavu. We are going to be reviewing and talking about Kavu mainly on three parameters. One is the bottling and the packaging of course, the taste and value for money. Putting the abundance of coconut to good use, that's easily available in Goa, Adinka Distories has created this product that is made with the uh, grey spirit and natural coconut taste. First things first, let's start with the packaging. Obviously, it's the bottle that's very unique. It's ubiquitous all over Goa. And this is what stands out. Right? This is what makes it the number one souvenir that you would ask your friends to get when they go to Goa. Now the bottle is very nice, it has a nice clean finish, nice smooth finish, it is white, it is opaque and it clearly stands out from the crowd. Although I must say it looks a little similar to the Malibu bottle and I am guessing the product is also going to be a little similar taste wise. So let's see. As you can see, it's a nice lush clear spirit. It smells overwhelmingly of coconuts, obviously because that's the only main ingredient. There's a lot of sweetness that comes through. It feels like a nice tropical holiday in a glass. I can't wait to taste it. A lot of sweetness. It almost reminds me of uh, a punky bar candy, if you try that. It is very much like that in terms of taste. A um, lot of uh, sweetness, like I said before, it is um, mainly coconut. There is really nothing else to it. So I think the best way to drink this would be on the rocks or add it to pineapple juice or pina colada maybe. I think one of my favorite ways to have it would be to just freeze it. Just freeze it for a couple of hours in the freezer and then it changes the viscosity a little bit, I think. And when you drink it, it's really nice and smooth. Yeah. I love it. It's, it's a desert in a glass, essentially. We spoke about the taste and we spoke about the packaging. Now, we come to value. In Goa, this 750ml bottle is sold for 600 rupees. I think that's a terrific price for something like this. Because of the sheer versatility of this drink, you can either use it to make cocktails, you can either have it neat, like I said, on the rocks. I think it's really versatile and I think for 600 rupees it's a great value for this bottle. So for packaging, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate it about 8. I think simply because it really stands out from the crowd, right? You know, how many opaque bottles do you really see out there? So this white opaque bottle, I think, is a real clear winner when it comes to packaging with its distinct Goan imagery on the bottle definitely a little bit. In terms of taste now, that's what really matters. See, I couldn't really resist taking another sip of this liquid. That means it's really good. Provided you have a sweet tooth. If you like your drinks sweet and if you prefer generally sweeter drinks, then you would obviously enjoy this. I I do I love sweet drinks and I love desserts. Big fan. So I would give it about six and a half out of ten. In terms of pure BFM, I think it I would give it about seven out of ten. This is a new series that we are starting on our YouTube channel, where in every Tuesday we will be reviewing a drink for you. I hope you like it. Your feedback is extremely important to us. So please let us know what you think of this and if there are any specific brands or any specific bottles that you would like us to review, do let us know in the comments below. And as always, do subscribe, 
do like and share if you really like the video that is and yeah show us some love thank you